Hi, y'all. I'm doing a quick video. I just grinded up some my my K uh, my container. I don't know if you see that it's green or not, but it's green because I just grinded up some powder, some kale powder. Let me show you here. I just grinded up some grilled kale powder, and instead of just cleaning out my jar, I was thinking, why not um, eat that goodness? So I'm gonna make a quick smoothie. What I have in here is four pineapples, and you see they're frozen pineapples that I've cu cut up from whenever the pineapples were on sale. I got a whole bunch of them. They were for a dollar, so I grabbed like 40 of them, and I froze them. So anyway, I have four of them in there. I have one cup of blueberries in there, and these are frozen. And then I have a little bit of, you know, the kale powder that was already in there that I'm trying to get. But I'm going to add an additional bit of kale powder. I'm just going to add just a little bit. This is one, tea, one teaspoon, and I'm not even doing, I'm doing like one-fourth of a teaspoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And I'm not putting a whole bunch in because you don't have to put a whole bunch in. Just, you know, move up to it. If you want to put more in, that's great, but you don't have to do that. Just start off little by little by little so you can increase it. And it can still taste great, and your body can grow with it. Next, what I'm going to put in it is one tablespoon of coconut sugar. And it's a hefty one. I'm not leveling it off. One tablespoon of coconut sugar. I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I got it from Sam's. Some coconut sugar. They have it here. It's organic, too. Organic coconut sugar, which is awesome. So I have that in there. And I have some apple juice. I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm not going to measure the apple juice. I'm just going to pour it in until I see it about half halfway up to the, where the um, halfway up to where the fruit is I'm gonna pour it up a little bit more than halfway and then I also want to put some water in it because it's good to have water so I'm gonna put a little bit of water in it and then remember you can always change it and I'm put a little bit more apple juice in it because it's ma the main thing this is going to be is a juice so I'm putting that in so the fruits completely covered and I'm debating, I think I'm going to go ahead and put in one more tablespoon of sugar. And when I say sugar, I'm talking about the organic sugar. So I have that in there. So this is basically pineapples and blueberries and a little bit of apple juice. Oh, well, not a little bit, you know, some apple juice. And then here is my lid here. I still have the green on it from whenever I had made the kale. So I want to get all of that. So let me go ahead and... So what we're going to do now is we're going to end up blending this up and we're going to make us a great quick drink. You of course can strain it. I'm not going to strain it. But let me push the camera down a little bit so you can see the controls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on. I'm going to take the variable speed and drag it all the way to 10. And then I'm going to cut it to high. And I'm going to put it back on the drink so you can actually see it working. There we go. Alright, so here we go. Let's get to blending. And I'm going to, I just cut it on now, I'm going to crease it. Slowly increasing. Now I'm going to flip it to 10, I mean to high. I'm going to take it off zero speed, take it back to one. And the lid, I'm just going to take it off real quick. It didn't explode up to the lid. I still want to get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off real quick and I'm going to pulse it. And what I mean by pulse it, I'm going to put this on high real quick and I'm going to lift it up and lift it up. Lift it up, lift it down, lift it up, lift it down so it can explode up there so I can get some of that up there. So let's do that real quick. That's my timer. Let me cut that off. There we go. So let's explode this up there so I can get my lid. You ready? <laughs> Yeah, goody. <laughs> Let me show you what I mean. See? Yay! All right. Now here comes the hard part. We need to taste it and see what it's like. And this is where you can be able to see, you know what, it's not sweet enough or it is too sweet. Maybe I can put a little more water in it because it's too sweet. 
or it's not sweet enough. Maybe I can put some apple juice in it or I'd like to put some coconut sugar in it. Whatever it is you want to do. And then you can also put maple syrup in it, honey, any sweeteners or sugar. You can use whatever you want to use, you know, but now's the time you want to taste it before you pass it around to the family. All right, so let me go ahead and try it and let's see what it tastes like. It tastes good. The only thing is it's a little frothy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on. It's on setting one and I'm going to keep increasing it until I can get a lot of this froth away. So I'm just going to increase it to two and you see it's increasing it so it's getting rid of more of that froth and that's what I want. I'm going to increase it a little bit more and I really want it to get into a little vortex. I'm going to increase it to four and there now it's kind of spinning around it's getting rid of more of that. And another thing too I want it to be a little colder. So I'm going to put in a little bit more ice. But since I'm putting in more ice, it tasted fine. But once I put the ice in, I'm diluting it. So I'm going to put in another tablespoon of, um, what is it? Another tablespoon of the coconut sugar. Well, instead of doing the coconut sugar, I think I'll just put a little more apple juice in. You can always switch, decide what you want to do. So I got rid of that which is nice, so it's not going to be as frothy. But I want it to be really cool. Like, you know when you first take that drink and it's nice and chilled? That's just great. So I'm going to put a little bit more apple juice in it. Just putting a little more apple juice in it. And I'm going to put a few more cubes in there. And I'm going to blend this up because I want it to be cold. So let me go ahead and cut it back on one. And let me cut it on. And I'm using the regular cubes, hard cubes. Let me go ahead and blend it up. I have it on setting four. I'm going to go ahead and put it on halfway at six. So you see it's gotten rid of a lot of the ice. I have it on setting six. So that seems like it's pretty cool. And you can even feel it. The lid is cold now. A lot colder. So that's done. Perfect. And I actually have a little taste of here. Do you want to taste it, little one? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Should it be the red bird in the tail? No, no, it's fine. It's fine, honey. And it's still a little frothy, so what I'm going to do is, real quick, I'm going to blend it up a little bit, um, cut it up so I can get rid of a lot of that froth. What's That's froth? winning one. The froth is the stuff up here. So I'm going to cut it up to two. I just want to get rid of some of this stuff up here. You can't see it. There we go. And get rid of more of it. Cut it to setting four. There we go. It's getting more of it, and that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off now. And I'm going to go ahead and give him some. And he can tell us what he thinks. Here you go, little one. Try it. Tell me what you think. Great. It's great. <laughs> okay, we're gonna Tastes go ahead like and serve it up. Kind of. Tastes like pink lemonade, mm -hmm. kinda. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's something else and too. And strawberries. And strawberries. Another thing that helps with drinks, like if you put some lime in it, that really can kick it up a notch and really make it taste better. Um, I don't have any lemon on me though, so this is gonna have to work for now. But sorry, let me put it on there so you can see it. But here it is. There. There's the drink there, and. Um, it tastes good. I'm going to go ahead and serve it up. But before I go, I'd like to say on behalf of your friends, family, and loved ones, thank you. Thanks for all the hard work you do. You could be making so many other things, but instead you spend your time making us great food and caring about our mouths and our health, and we appreciate you. Thank you. Take care. and God